A day after revealing that the Azimi and Lomoja coalition plans to unveil a shadow cabinet, Waipa leader Kalonzo Musyoka has yet again poked holes into the 2022 general elections, with the IABC being at the core of it. <laughs> Speaking after attending a church service in Lolwe Deliveries Church in Migosi, Kisumu County, Kalonzo dared the removal of the four IBC commissioners who distanced themselves from the presidential result of the August 9th, 2022 general elections at the Bombers of Kenya. The Kenyans have now to ask themselves, is it really necessary to go to the polls? Is it really necessary? If you are Venezuelans fixing it from Caracas. But I must tell you, Nobody should dare touch the four commissioners who are continuing commissioners because they showed in their own way their sense of professionalism and they were not afraid. In the same breath, the Wiper leader has poked holes on IBC Commission's motive of scheduling the anticipated by-elections in areas of Utawala, Mamias North, South Jem, Bungoma, Thome Kiana and Olol Masani to 8th of December this year. There are several expected by elections, several. Uh, if some of these uh, nominee cabinet secretaries will succeed in the endeavor, then clearly there will be by elections. Ask yourself why Chabukatu would have wanted to carry out uh, instead of waiting for these um, uh, by elections to come together. Why did he push for uh, December 8th? just to make sure that he perhaps has to, some duty to perform, maybe to a friend, before he leaves office. Furthermore, Musioka has questioned the position of the president in announcing impending vacant position of the three commissioners that include chairperson of Fula Chebukate's position and two other members of the commission whose tenure lapses on 17th of January 2023. It will not be the responsibility of, of William Ruto alone to choose who will be the next chair of the IBC? And yesterday I compared this IBC thing to what there is in football. You know, there's a, a, a device called v, v, VAR. Ukisko out of tune in Akwambia Apana, Kama ile hand of God, ya Maradona. They didn't have it by that time. But these IBC guys have been doing that kind of a thing, yeah, and getting away with it and causing so much pain. I don't know why a whole, a whole team would want to incur a national curse. Kalonzo Musioka was on a two-day visit in the Lake region after attending the first Mashujaa Day presided over for the first time by President William Ruto, with his party moving to dismiss assertions that his attendance was a sign of pledging loyalty to the president. Kalonzo did not attend Mashujaa Day celebrations to pledge loyalty to President Ruto or anybody. He attended uh, the celebrations in his own capacity as a Kenyan patriot. Ben Kombuka, K24, Nairobi.